My name is uh, Lou Hollis, a commercial fisherman. I fish out of the little bay called Boss's Cove, which is uh, just near Shawwood Park Estate. I've uh, fished there since I was a little boy. I used to go fishing with my grandmother in a punt. And um, I actually was an engineer for Hamilton Princess. I gave that up to go fishing full time. Um, I'm one of the few fishermen that uh, dealt with quite a few sharks. I used to go at night shark fishing just to get sharks. I uh, have a method that um, to stun a shark before I actually put him in the boat, uh, I normally bite him on his nerve center, which is the nose. And uh, my father taught me how to do that many years ago. I don't advise anybody that uh, is afraid of a shark or don't know what they're doing to try to bite a shark on the nose because it can be very dangerous. You might lose your nose. <laughs> but um, I learned how to make shark oil barometers. It's something that was handed down from generation to generation. Um, the shark has to be caught the right phase of the moon uh, to get a nice, clear, white liver. I find that the best month for getting shark livers is the month of September, if I can get them. Uh, then I also work on the oncoming phase of the moon, when the moon is coming. The liver seems to be a lot clearer and a lot better oil from the liver uh, when you get it at the oncoming moon. When you tend to get um, the livers um, on the dark side of the moon, the oil tends to be dark, which you will see uh, in the background of me. There is an assortment of shark oil barometers. The one at the bottom, you can see, is a darker color than the ones at the top. That's because it was taken at the wrong time of the moon phase. So the liver was dark and the oil is dark. The ones above, as you can see, is now quite clear are starting to clear up because today is a sunny day. We're going to have good weather until this evening, and then you'll see the shark oil change in color, which will go up as the weather gets bad and come down as the weather gets better. Um, that works with the uh, barometer, which also rises and lowers. In the event that we're going to get a hurricane or a storm, this white shark oil will spiral in the center and you'll see it rise just like a twist or a tornado coming up from the center. If the wind direction is going to change, also you'll see that the shark oil will slope to one side if the wind direction is coming from the south because these bottles are hanging on a wall that goes from south to north. And I can actually tell the wind direction from these shark oil barometers. It goes way back to the early uh, mariners and uh, they didn't have all the fancy weather stations and stuff like we've got today to tell us what the weather is going to be like so most fishermen and, and mariners learned to read the shark oil. This shark oil will last indefinitely providing that it doesn't get broken or it it's, uh, doesn't get laid down inside. It has to be in the upright position like you see them there to make them work. I have a relative of mine that uh, about two years ago he had this uh, flu and bad cold that he couldn't get rid of. And he is um, a generation ahead of me. And he's grandfather's my great grandfather. And like I say, these things have been handed down through the family. And his name is uh, Pilot a senior pilot or a retired pilot, John Kennedy. So he came up to me and he says, do you have any shark oil? I said, what do you want it for? He says, something that you've, it's in pretty good shape. And he, he actually took the shark oil and he took a dose of the shark oil for medicinal purposes. Two days later, he was cured of his ailment because the shark oil is just like taken uh, castor oil or something like that, and went right through him, cleaned him out, and he was in good shape. 
I do not rely on just electronics. Electronics are man-made and they can't go wrong. They have battery failures, they can break down. And uh, myself, I don't just rely on electronics. I still use the old method as well as the new method.